Okay, so how to put books in your inventory and ship them off uh, on Amazon. So here's your manage inventory page that will come up on your seller account. And I'm at 11,923 is how many books I have shipped to Amazon. So what you'll do right here at the top is you'll click that and the catalog will come up and you'll hit add products. And then you'll see this. So this is where you'll enter the ISBN on the back of the book. Okay, so I entered it in and then I hit search and then the book will pop up. So there's the book and I always make sure it's the same cover and the same uh, book that it says it is and then you'll hit used and then sell the product. Then this page will pop up. So I was at 11,924 I believe. So my next uh, SKU is 11,925. So what I did was I started um, on my first book, I just listed it as SKU one. So that way I was able to keep track of how many books I have shipped to Amazon. So that's how what I do with my SKUs. Okay, so use buy box on Scoutly tells me it's 1527. So I entered that in and when it says list price, what I do is I list it whatever uh, the new buy box says. So the new buy box says 23 but your actual price will be $15.27. So condition, you really wanna be picky on the condition. So you don't want bad reviews on um, your seller account because people won't buy from you and then also you can get jeopardized with Amazon and they'll kick you off. So this one looks like there's no highlights in it, which is good. Um, the cover's decent. Um, I would list this, it's probably in very good condition, but I would probably list this as good condition just to be on the safe side. So I always um, downgrade it. So if it's very good, I'll list it as good. If it's uh, good, I'll list it as acceptable. That way uh, it, you're safe uh, from bad reviews. And a lot of people, if you do do that, will give you a good review and say that um, it was in better condition than expected. So I click good. And then down here it says, I will ship my uh, the item myself, which means that is uh, if an FBM if you hold it to the side. Um, but I always sell to Amazon, so Amazon will ship. Then you scroll all the way down to the bottom, hit save and finish. And then you'll see that check mark ready to go. And then you'll continue just doing the same thing, listing books until you have at least, you know, a box full to ship. I, can't, I don't have enough time to show you how to print labels in this video, but I will in my next and show you how to actually get the labels on the books and actually ship them off.